Hey there, I am back with another deck review. Today I'm going to be looking at the Legal Tender series, the Chinese edition uh, from King's Wild Project. Uh, this is based on the artwork of genius card designer Jackson Robinson, my absolute favorite card designer in this entire business. Uh, but he was actually looking at different currencies across the world and admiring sort of the artwork and the intricacy that goes into currency as a whole, wanted to build a series of decks based off of that. And this, along with a U.S. edition, was the beginning of that vision that he's got. Uh, so this one is the China edition. Obviously, it's going to be based on artwork from the Chinese Yuan or the Renminbi. And uh, you'll see a lot of different influences in here. Now, the Yuan has actually gone through a number of different series where they've completely changed the design of the money. Uh, the current series of the money is the fifth series. And if you look at that, all of the, uh, all of the uh, faces on the money are Mao Zedong, which I think would make for a funny deck to have everything be just a bunch of Mao Zedong everywhere. Not the most interesting of decks. Uh, so... Jackson Robinson went with the fourth series of the Renminbi, which features a lot of different interesting faces of different minority groups and other groups of people throughout China, which I think is an interesting approach. We'll see that when we get into the cards themselves. We're going to start, though, with the tuck case itself. So the front of the tuck case here is this beautiful, intricate artwork all the way down and just this beautiful patterning, all forms this stripe down the center in this teal and indigo with a bunch of faded uh, looking color going throughout there. But if I zoom in here, you can get a good look at that design work that's all the way down. Really beautifully done with the floral patterns and kind of lotus blossoms. It's really, really nice picture there. There's one, a good shot of the lotus blossom up there. So really beautiful, faded, almost a pastel sort of color there. And then you've got the outline of that stripe down the middle and you've got the uh, the white border here with little yellow circles in it, which is kind of an interesting little design choice. So very, very cool, beautiful, intricate pattern work uh, down on the front of the tuck case. Only writing here is this Chinese writing, which is done in a holographic foil. This is Chinese for legal tender. So very, very cool front to the tuck case. And then that same pattern continues up to the top of the tuck case, as you can see here. Uh, the sides of the tuck case, one side, it says legal tender and then you've got right here again in yellow that Chinese writing for legal tender again uh, one just weird I don't know if this was intentional but it's actually written this way meaning that if you put the deck right side up the writing here is upside down which thinks a little bit odd but not a huge deal and then you've got the same thing on the other side with legal tender little yellow circles in the back to give it a little bit of a pop of color and then same thing with the Chinese writing there in the corner uh, the bottom of the tuck case is just kind of standard ad copy. You have these two circles on the side in holographic foil again with the logo for King's Wild Project, that king wearing a gas mask. And then you've got your regular credits here for Jackson Robinson, King's Wild Project, and then the printers of this, the expert playing card company in Taipei. That is that. The back of the tuck case is going to be the back design of the cards. So you've got this big, bold indigo design in the middle here. Uh, we'll look at a little bit more detail of these uh, in a second when we get into the deck. But I will say you get a little bit of just a really faint embossing here. Uh, I hope that shows up on camera all right. Uh, to kind of give it a little bit of an interesting textural element on the back. Uh, but that is the tuck case, really beautifully done in this sort of velvety finish. Really love the work that was done in the tuck case. Really just great, intricate work throughout. As you open up the flap here, you get an even more of a continuation of that design going through there. You can see how that continues down from the front all the way through that flap. And then on the interior of the tuck case, you have a little bit of extra printing. So you got these yellow circles coming through there. It kind of gives it a really interesting, just a little bit of color. And then as you look on the very bottom, Hard to see here, don't know how well that's gonna show up, but you've got that ch those Chinese characters again for legal tender at the bottom. A very cool, interesting, and unique tuck case you got there uh, off of Chinese currency. That is that, but let's go into the cards next. So first off, backs of the cards. Uh, these are just like the back of the tuck case, that beautiful blue stripe with this large indigo feature in the middle there. You've got the lotus blossoms, and then you've got this sort of pattern coming out throughout here, and just really intricate lines and flourishes all the way through. 
Love how that's done. Uh, and then the outside border here, you've got those little yellow circles again uh, on a white background. Uh, it is a two-way back design. As far as I could tell, I checked all the circles and everything. Uh, works out as a perfect two-way back design. Uh, really, really nicely done on the back of the card. No border to it, it's borderless, uh, which means that it's not gonna be as great for things like magic, but we'll talk about uses of the deck uh, when we get to the end of the review. So that's the back design of the card. Really big fan of this. Think was uh, some great work done there. But let's flip them over and look at the other side. First off, extra cards. So it's an expert playing card company, meaning you only get two extra cards, not four, like you would with a, with a um, USPCC deck. But the back design, or the uh, front design here for the Jokers is a diptych. So you'll see here the two cards come together to make one panoramic design of the Great Wall of China winding its way through the mountains. And it's got this sepia tone to the background with this black uh, ink on it making almost like an etching picture of the wall going through. So really cool. And then you've got the red Chinese characters there in the corners. So really nicely done. Big fan, like those. I really do like uh, diptych jokers when they do those. So I think it's a great feature. Now, let's go to the cards themselves. So you'll see right away as I fan this out just a little bit, you'll see different colors. So each of the suits is its own color. You've got reds, yellows, blues and greens is the four different col uh, colors based on the suits. We'll start here with the greens or the uh, the clubs. So here is the ace of clubs. So you'll see here, you've got a pretty standard pip in the middle, but it's surrounded by this very cool uh, design work going around the ace. And then you've got a pretty standard looking index there in the corner, nothing too special. But the interesting part here is that background. So almost like a watermark in the back. You'll get this beautiful work all the way down. You can see some animals in there. So you'll see like a bird coming through there. As I pan all the way down, you'll see all that detail in there. But very cool. And that same background is on every single one of the clubs. So as I work through those, and you'll see these are all fairly standard. Now, as you'll see with a lot of Jackson Robinson's cards, the pips in the middle are a lot smaller and more spaced out, kind of giving you a little bit more open space on the card which on this one I really like because it gives you a chance to appreciate more of that background. So I think that was a good design decision on this particular deck. So that's the number cards, but then here are your court cards. So all the court cards are gonna be based off of characters that you find on Chinese money in some form. And like I said before, the fourth series of the Renminbi uh, goes after different groups and minority groups and other groups within China. So this one, they're not any famous people. This is actually representing the intellectual, the farmer, and the worker uh, who are all represented on currency. So you can see those there. So pretty cool on those. And then you've got Chinese characters here. So this is actually for Jack and Queen and King in Chinese. So pretty cool on that. Uh, a little bit strange. You've got these like little tiny extra indices in the corner. So interesting little extra feature there. And then you've got the large K with the club there. So very, very cool. I love the look of those. And I think the design work on these two-way uh, court cards is really well done, beautifully done. We'll continue on to the blues or the diamonds. So here are your diamonds. There's your ace, again with that uh, new pattern. And then the background, you've got an entirely new background here. This time it's gonna be this sort of peacock look here. So you've got the uh, bird with the feather plumes coming through the back, and then it continues all the way through on these with the blue and red faded background. Very cool. And then as you get to the court cards, here are your three court cards. And you'll see more, these are actually representing different minority groups around China. Very cool. Love the intricate work on these uh, kind of columns down the side. Very cool on those. And then continuing on, we have the hearts. So here's your court cards for the hearts. Interesting uh, look at some different groups around China. And then continuing down, and then this one's got a little bit more of a yellow background to it with sort of blues and reds in the middle. And if I get in here, you can get a little bit of a look at what that background is. So this one's got a bird uh, kind of flying through the clouds there. So pretty cool there. And then there's your ace. That heart. And then here are your spades. So you've got a much darker feel to this with the 
reds and blacks uh, really dominating on this sort of brown background. So pretty cool on those. And then as we continue down through here, and you'll probably already notice in the background, this one features my favorite of the backgrounds, which is this really cool Chinese dragon design going through the back. So very, very cool and powerful look to those on the spades. And then there is your Ace of Spades, which features the largest of the spade pi of the Ace Pips with the spade there in the middle. So very cool look there. Now, what about the handling of the cards themselves? Now this, if I had one knock on the deck, this is probably the one area where it falls down a little bit. I will say these don't fan especially well. You can see a little bit of clumping that goes on there. Not the best handling deck in the world. Um, Expert playing card company usually doesn't, you know, handle quite as well as, you know, especially if you're used to USPCC decks. Handles acceptably well, you know, not a huge deal. Uh, you know, cuts and everything like that are fine. Um, so not the best handling deck in the world, which kind of leads to the next question, which is what would you use this deck for? And for me, it's not a magic deck. Um, you know, the lack of borders kind of hurts that. Uh, it's a so-so cardistry deck, largely because of that handling. Uh, and it's not really the best of gameplay decks in the world, just because I think all those designs there can get a little bit distracting, which really leaves this as one of those decks that is just a fantastic an amazing art deck and one that you can show off to people. That is really where I think the niche of this deck is and I think it does it brilliantly and for that purpose alone I think it is still worth every penny. So this is absolutely one I would check out. The Chinese edition of the Legal Tender series from Jackson Robinson. Definitely one worth taking a look at. Beautiful deck and another really just fantastic design by one of the best designers in the business Jackson Robinson and King's Wild Project. So that is it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed this review and let me know if you have any questions, other decks you want to see. Uh, subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings and other things I'll be putting up on my channel. Otherwise, I will see you for the next one.